Hey guys, welcome back to another bucket plugin episode. Um, so I know it's been quite a while, but the reason is I've been busy for one thing, and I've been doing a lot more uh, bucket plugin programming. Like you actually see over here, did this for all games plugin that I just finished yesterday or the day before, and I decided with that experience that I had game that I'd be able to improve on my episodes and I figured I wouldn't start until I had learned more about uh, you know plugin programming and stuff like that so this episode is going to be about um, improving on what we had covered in the last couple episodes or last episodes in general um, just going over all that again except it's gonna be a lot quicker and then I'm gonna show you uh, how to make it better, how to do things that you guys have been asking in the comments. So we're going to start with uh, improving the countdown. That's what we should do. I can get, not click the wrong button. There we go. Okay, and then if do that. I'm also changing this slightly. Uh, I'm gonna start doing CMD get name instead of um, just instead of command label, just because CMD get name is slightly shorter. Uh, let's see timer. Then we want to first come up here. Do int countdown. We're going to count down equals. Whew, okay. Just get server. Dot get scheduler. Dot schedule. Sync repeating task. Let me do this and new run up pull. Okay. Well, let's just make sure this is before we start. Okay. Public void run. Then what we're gonna do is if yeah, let's add their integer. Okay. If i is not equal to negative one, and if i is not equal to zero. Sorry about that. Um, oh, that's why there was a parenthesis. Okay. If i is not equal to zero, then what we want to do is bucket podcast message check color dot green. I guess I'll do that. And I minus minus. And then else? That would be copy this. Remove that. So begin. And then change this to like do or something. Okay. And then after that, um, didn't actually need that, but we'll need it later. And what we're gonna do is so if it wants to go to that, 
Um, what else we're going to do? So I get a server. Is that what I do that? This time. Get class. Don't get. Nope. Okay, well. Okay, so. Just don't know why that didn't work, but. Don't get a scheduler. Don't can. Cancel task. Count down. So that'll cancel the task. And then after this, we're going to do i equals 10. Okay, and that's the timer. And that should work. Okay, why are you. What error could you. Oh, that's fine. Whatever. Okay, reload. And then we should do timer. Okay, why is that happening? Oh, it's first to do I minus minus again. I figured that was gonna happen. Sorry about that. Okay. No, I do not want that sound. Okay, so let's let me do the timer again, it'll restart. Okay, and obviously do not catch the task. Okay, so maybe that'll fix it. Let's see. Hopefully it does. Because I have no other excuse if... There we go. Okay, so basically what I did is I got rid of the this dot get server and then the plugin get server because that was screwing it up. So now that we've done timer, uh, that's how you can have it so we can repeat it without reloading the server. And else if... Get name equals ignore case. Next time we're gonna do jump. We push it effects. If that's it, then we do player dot add potion effect. So basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna be a toggle and actually before we do that. Um, if nope, oops. First, we have to create a uh, boolean, so public boolean um, can or has has jump. Useless. Okay, so if has jump. Potion effect here. Potion effect. Potion effect. Type dot. Jump. Say int dot max value. And then we say how uh, the the strength that we want. So we'll just say five. Because why not? That import. Okay, and then we do else dot remove potion effect potion effect type dot jump.
then this so then we do as jump to true and then as jump false. So if I'm not mistaken this should work. Um, I don't know if this will work with multiple people. And actually, wait. I'm just kidding. All right. I don't know if this will work with multiple people. I'll check that in a second. If you jump, if you look at this, then infinite boost. Never run out of it. Last forever. And if you jump, I'll remove it, and then. No longer have a jump boost. Um, so, give me one sec. Okay, so now I'm gonna try it with a different player. So if I jump, then I'm giving the boost. And then if I go to this player, because I'm pretty sure with the way that I have it right now, it's just gonna toggle the boolean, and then this is just gonna remove things that I don't have. Yes. Yeah, so basically, what I'm gonna have to do, go back in here, get rid of this, and make it a public library list string. So this is what we're gonna do: is we're gonna add a player. Um, into an array list that will store their name and it will check if um, if it has okay so if hash jump dot contains player dot get name sorry does not does not contain then we do hash drop Add and then we do player dot get name. And this we do as jump dot remove oops, player dot get name. Okay, that should work. I have the effect, and then if I do jump on this side, jump. He has the effect. If I do. Okay, so there you go, that works. Uh, so I actually do not need this account anymore, so I'm just gonna close that out so it doesn't waste my RAM and stuff. So now I'm gonna go. Uh, next thing we're gonna be doing is teleportation. Oops. We don't get I get spell. Oops, that equals ignore case. Oops, totally put a dot in between ignore and equals. Ignore case tilly, like it did in the other video. Then, uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do teleport to a location. So let's do. Location, location, equals new, location. So I'm going to do um, get server dot get world. This, I believe. No, I'm just kidding. This, um, nope. Let me import location real quick. 
Yep. Okay, so if I just do... Since that's the world I'm on, I guess that's... Then you just set an X value. Uh, let's just do... Let's see, let's look here. I'll do 150... 75... 350. So 150... 75... 350. And then we go over here and we do... Let's see we go. And then we do... Here dot... Teleport to location... Location... Okay. Uh, sorry about the confusion there, I just... I was not entirely sure what I was doing there for a second, but I got it. Okay, so now we got the game, we get reload. Yep, teleport me to the location. Cool. So, uh, yeah, that's... Celebration. Uh, so I'm gonna get a little bit... Nah, I'll go... I'll get into storing teleportations. Uh, I teleport into those in the next episode, or in the, one of the next episodes. Um, next episode, I'm pretty sure I will be doing Freezing Players. Um, I'll do both in the same episode, since Freezing Players isn't going to take very long at all. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope this helped. Um, clarify some of your questions, and get things more in-depth than it was before. Thanks, thanks for watching.